Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the so called S8 Plus. So, these are the new names that they might give the new S8 and the S8 Plus, but there have been some recent leaks that actually verify what these phones look like. Now, again, these are all rumors, they're all leaks, so we're not 100% sure if it's true or false. But this is the information we have so far, and it seems to be reliable because there are multiple sources confirming the same thing. So first and foremost, a case maker sent some schematics, some 3D renders uh, to GSM Arena. And of course, from these schematics, we are able to tell uh, what the S8 and the S8 Plus looks like what their approximate size is and what is the screen size now if you look at the schematics very carefully i'm going to project them to the screen right now uh, as you can see the s8 and the s8 plus have a very high screen to body ratio so if you look at these schematics uh, you are able to tell that the s7 edge and the s8 plus the so-called s8 plus are almost the same size okay but the screen to body ratio is much higher on the s8 plus so we're going to be getting getting uh, really really large screens and of course if you look at the s8 uh, which is the equivalent of an s7 that also has approximately the same size and it has again a very large screen to body ratio and from looking at these uh, schematics and just uh, approximating the screen sizes we can tell that the s8 has an approximate screen size of 5.7 inches and the s8 plus has an approximate screen size of 6.3 inches that is absolutely fantastic these phones are small but they've got large super amoled uh, high resolution displays that are just going to boggle the mind so uh, they're doing a great job hopefully these schematics these 3d renders are very close to the real product by the way the real product is going to be announced sometime in april it could be april 15th or april 18th maybe in new york maybe some other private event we don't know but it's going to be revealed in april sometime so stay tuned for that and i'm sure there's going to be more leaks so just by looking at these 3d renders can we conclude that this is the phone of course not but there's another leak and this leak is not actually a leak it's a video that samsung posted on their uh, korean account on youtube okay i'm gonna link the videos down in the description below so you guys can go watch them out but if you look at that video uh the phones look just like in the schematics now the video itself is about the super amoled technology the screen technology it's trying to showcase how realistic the colors are it's trying to showcase how crisp the display is but the phone that they're using is a phone that we've never seen before and it looks just like in the schematics the 3d renders that we saw uh, for 3d arenas uh, leaks so we could take that as a slight confirmation uh, of uh, of um, of the leak so this might be the phone this might be the s8 and s8 plus we're looking for with humongous screens so what else can we conclude from these screens what else we can conclude is that um let me make this turn real quick is if you look at the bot all right you will see that there's no more home button so that raises two questions is the home button going to be software based uh, such as the Google Pixel and Nexus 6P or HTC 10 or is it going to be built into the display now knowing Samsung and how crazy they're about innovation it might be built in to the display the home button the fingerprint sensor it might all be in the display okay so either it's on the back which I doubt uh, or it's gonna be in the front they're not gonna do away with the fingerprint sensor it's just a very good security mechanism right so it might be uh, built in to the display it might be all the display so we don't know that yet but we'll see hopefully more leaks will come out soon so we can confirm it so so far I can tell you that the fingerprint sensor is gonna be in the front and it's probably gonna be built into the display you know we've got large screens humongous screen to body ratios uh, we have an iris scanner we're gonna have an iris scanner for sure if the note 7 had an iris scanner the s8 and the s8 plus are also going to have it and finally if you look at these phones carefully if you look at the schematics carefully you can see that the displays are in fact curved so both the s8 
and the S8 Plus, the larger S8, are going to have curved screens so far from what we can see. Okay, so we're not gonna have S7, S7 Edge anymore. We're gonna have two edges with two different sizes. So anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech uh, for more videos to come so I can give you some more updates as leaks appear. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you love it, or as usual, a thumbs down if you hate it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. If you have any other information or any comments, concerns, just drop them down below for everybody else to see and for myself to see. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, link up with you guys later.